here today at the SECO Collaborative Open House yet again. Now, you've worked for many years at Matt Saw as an applications engineer and, you, and you've brought the MX520 to this exhibition. Now, you've been involved with many installations and this machine itself is probably about seven years now old. Yeah, yeah. Now, why do people keep investing in this machine in your opinion? Uh, it's uh, very, very, very well priced for what it is. A uh, single table version, like you say, has been seven years. Uh, great ease of access for an operator. Uh, 60 or 90 tool options, which is good flexibility again for a customer offering sister tooling capabilities and so on to give them a little bit of unman running. Um, a lot of third parties as well were automating the machine. Um, so obviously Matt Saw have seen the back of that and now automated it with a four pallet system, giving us really uh, good systems for unman running. Uh, we can have up to four, four different parts per pallet if you cube do cube work so it gives it a lot of flexibility yeah I mean with, with the automation I mean automation is a big theme in the UK now this is already built in is yeah. this a big advantage oh massive advantage now instead of um, having third party where weights were limited billet sizes were limited now we can have full full size work pieces full, um, all in the system and as I said we can have up to four programs per pallet so we can also do cube work tombstone work all in five axis and over the seven years the people that have invested in this type of machine have they been predominantly people that have been doing overnight running high volume work or does it also lend itself to low volume work and and and, and that type of uh work too yeah, yeah low volume works quite quite good for it obviously seven years ago it only came out as a single pallet machine so it was very much reliant on someone to load it and unload it um, it's helped us get into a lot of small subcontract firms. I mean, with the four pallets, you know, I'm looking at this machine, it's quite a small footprint. Yes, yeah, very small footprint for the size of it. Um, obviously, the pallet pool adds a little bit, but yeah, for relative footprint for the size, uh, due to the x-axis configuration, we, we allow a lot of x-axis movement without much footprint. And now with the, some of the installations that you've been involved in, once people have purchased one of these, have they gone on to purchase another? Yeah, sometimes they'll get another MX, sometimes they'll move up to the man range because they want, want that little bit more rapid speed, uh, quicker, slightly quicker tool changing and more pallets uh, than the MX range offers. Well, Clark, thank you very much for the detailed uh, analysis of this machine. Thank you. Nice one, thank you.